So the typical colors to summer update has finally come out after mass delays, like always. Thanks, Rolf. And they added quite the things, and this is becoming extremely transparent, but Rolf is trying to make TC2 way more like TF2 now. So the typical colors to summer update has finally come out after mass delays, like always. Thanks, Rolf. And they added quite the things, and this is becoming extremely transparent, but Rolf is trying to make TC2 way more like TF2 now. Hell, they even added war paints, but I'll get onto those later. Agent is probably the class that got the most things added, according to the world famous Executive Crab. She now has a new camera item which allows you to take a picture of an enemy and track them through the walls. Now it doesn't just show for, the, for that one spy, but for the rest of your team. And it will replace the sapper. Okay, this is post-production coffee here, uh, I'll keep this a little secret, they actually nerfed that weapon. Uh, now when the spy dies, the outliner on the enemy goes away. Uh, but that doesn't really matter because you're gonna be taking these photos from afar anyway, so yeah. They also added new bosses, stranger fires, interchangeable outfits, which basically means you can use a cosmetic and the clothes that come with the cosmetic at the same time, kinda like in TF2. First person spectating, and 17 unusuals by workshoppers that I'm not gonna name. A battle pass, which has two versions, a free version and a premium version that just has weapons that are pretty much the same. It's not really worth it, honestly. They are the new bosses, like the mummy and... Yasuka. And now it's time to read the general changes. Combined five strangers to collect over. Collectors variant, added respawn highlights, can be enabled in settings, added emojis to the chat, added line view model settings, added search bar in the inventory, added inventory limits can be expanded by the weapon in the battle pass, added new unboxing animations by at whatever weapons, the stray reflex, the slow burn, the spy camera, the quick draw, the pristine poker, the radius scan, the dire donut, the objector, the extinguisher, the loose cannon, the bastard, the shotgun cannon, the sushi, the doctor SMG, all flamethrowers have been Readjusted the huntsman got readjusted the knife got readjusted the DB shotgun got readjusted the ban ban the DB shotgun got banned from verse bosses the torpedo tube got removed the vaccinator got updated the grenade launcher also got updated with the new B model animations uh, they also added the default FOV to be 90 pixel walking is fixed added new loading screen supercharging flashing is now s smoother HUD meter flashes yellow when it's filled added select row page hotkeys for batch selling rejoining will put you in a team where you were last in teleporting that gets Reset to level one. Teleporters not get reset to level one once one dies. New fun ratio for calculation. One fun equals three fun. You can now get strange unusuals when unboxing forever. Forever scrolling through the inventory doesn't like your games. Versus boss UI will have a purple team instead of the green team. You can scroll through your inventory using the scroll wheel, respawning again. Auto balance won't kill you for no reason. Add a title to mouse button in the PC section for those who need it. Xbox adjusted the voice menu UI. Xbox you can now call for help without taunting. Called agent for Xbox. Xbox construction destruction. Eureka effects now have the correct button showings. <sighs> Jesus. There's just one thing about this update, you know. It sounds like it has all this cool stuff. But there's just one complication. Everything is so damn expensive. Just the exclusive crates for the weapons are literally 135 each. The stupid paint cans literally vary in price. They go from 100 to 140 to 175. So there's no point in RAM drops anymore because you can just buy name tags. But oh wait, there are 175 funds. Even funnier, they added the objector, and it costs 750 funds. That is absolutely ridiculous. Overall, I'm really enjoying this update so far, while I just grind through the battle pass and such, but, you know, the expensive product, you know, it's not... It's not ideal, I think everything's way too expensive in the update, and it takes, you know, a long time to grind for it, but... What are you gonna do? It's a fun update, they added cool stuff, I like how they're making it more like TF2. And yeah, that's it.